If you're looking for a hand crank, then you're probably wondering what type of hand crank you should go for. Should you go for the vibrating shuttle machine, which uses a long bobbin and the shuttle shaped bobbin case? Or should you go for the round bobbin with a slightly more modern looking bobbin case? Which one makes the better hand crank? Let's find out. For the purposes of this test, I'm going to take these machines through all the setup stages from the winding of the bobbin, loading the bobbin, all the way through to threading and sewing on a piece of fabric. Now that's so that I can show you how long the setup takes in real time for each machine, which might make this video slightly longer than my usual videos, so feel free to fast forward at any time. But make a note of how long the video is for each section and then you'll be able to see how much quicker one machine is over the other. We're going to start with the Singer 128 from 1928 because it's the older of the two machines and you know, age before beauty and all that.
oatmeal will fill in. I'm not going to mess with the tension or anything because the point of this exercise is to show which one makes the easiest or the better hand crank to use. Next up we've got the Singer 15K80. It's another hand crank. The difference between this one and the 128 that we've just looked at is this is a full size machine, which means it's got a full size weight. This one is considerably heavier than the, the 128. And if you've ever wondered why I sound so much out of breath every time I do one of these videos, it's because I spend way too long moving these machines from one side of this room to the other to set them up for different shots and this one one of its biggest drawbacks is the fact that being a full-size machine and having the weight of a full-size machine it is the heaviest hand crank that I own <laughs>
If we take a look at the two lines of stitching side by side, the red one is the 128 and the green one is the, the 15. And to be honest with you, as far as stitch quality goes, I know I didn't mess with the tension on either machine, but I think the 15 has just got it. Just that little bit neater in the condition that it's in at the moment without messing with it. There's, there's less puckering. So what are the results when it comes to choosing hand cranks? between a vibrating shuttle and a class 15, what style should you go for? At the end of the day, the choice is up to you. It depends on what you're sewing and what your sewing needs are. It also depends on your personal preference, which one you like the look of most. The 128 or the 28 are small machines. They're three quarter size, which means they don't have the same weight as the full size machine, like this Singer 15 here. So from a weight point of view, they, they win points on that because they are lighter to move around and they are slightly more portable. The bobbin system, both winding and loading it into the, the shuttle carrier here, can be fiddly to the point of total frustration, especially when you're trying to get the, the thread um, to stay on the bobbin when you're trying to, to load it into the, the bobbin winder. I think Singer missed a trick there when they didn't put a little groove on the top of the long bobbin to hold the thread to allow you enough time to get it onto the winder. This one is also, when you work it, just that little bit tinny sounding. This Singer 15 is a lot smoother. It's a lot quieter. It's also similar in design to the bobbin systems that we're used to today. And to be honest with you, it's a lot less fiddly to both wind the thread onto a class 15 bobbin and to load this into the, the bobbin area underneath the machine. The only thing that you do tend to have a little bit of a, a wibble with is when you're actually trying to get the bobbin into the machine. You do have to kind of wiggle it a little bit to find the little slot that it clicks into. But apart from that, it's relatively simple. It's easy to use and it's a little bit quicker to get up and running and ready to sew than the vibrating shuttle. When they made the Singer 15, Singer actually broke the mould and this style of machine, the Class 15, became the benchmark on which most modern machines are based. And it's because of that and because this one has got a slightly smoother action that if it was me, and it was me making the choice, I'd go for the Singer 15 every time. I hope you liked today's video and I hope it's helped you figure out what style of hand crank is best for your needs. Let me know in the comments which one you go for. I want to check out some of the other videos that I've got on this channel using these links that are coming up on the screen any minute now or the ones I'll pop in the description box below for you. I want to click that little bell and subscribe so that YouTube can let you know when I've uploaded another video. And whichever video you go and check out next, let's see you back here for the next one. In the meantime, whatever you're sewing, whatever you're sewing it with, whether it's a 128 or a 15, embrace your creativity and have fun. Thank you ever so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.